The problem is there is an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, it's five miles offshore, and there is an oil refinery eight miles down the coast uh, from the, the, the nearest shore point from the rig. And the job is we're going to, we have to run a pipeline uh, from the rig somehow to the refinery. What's going to happen here is it's going to go to some shore point piping is going to go from here to here somewhere and then along the coastline. The problem is it costs more money to run pipe underwater than it does along the coast. The numbers we're going to be working with are we're going to say it's going to be one million dollars per mile of water uh, and one half a million dollars per mile of land. So the object is to minimize cost. What should we do here? Uh, the two extreme answers are well you could just pipe the oil from the rig right to the refinery uh, so as to minimize the distance. But the downside to that is it's all water. And uh, that might not be the most economical way. The other way is to say, okay, well, you want to avoid water and go straight to land and then go all the way over. Well, that'll be, that will minimize your water cost, but you have all this land that, that's left over. So maybe there's something uh, in between. We need a way to, to model this. Very generally speaking, the cost is going to be the water cost plus the land cost. Back here, how do we model it? The best way to, to, to do it is, I'm going to say, well, the original question is how far away, say, from this point should this point be to minimize cost? So we'll call that x. That'll be x. If that's x, then this distance here is 8 minus x. And by the Pythagorean theorem, x and 5, the water distance will be 25 plus x squared. So that gives us nice expressions for our water distance and for our land distance. To get our cost functions, all that we have to do is multiply these distances by their respective costs. So the water cost is going to be cost per mile times water miles. Uh, to ease up on our calculations, we'll make our cost in millions. All right, so the cost will be in millions. We said it was one million dollars per water mile. So the total water cost C is going to be one one million times the water distance, which is 25 plus x squared. Add to that the land cost, well we said that the land cost was half a million dollars per mile, so that would be half a million times the land distance, 8 minus x. Uh, what are the endpoints of our interval here? Well, we have <coughs> the endpoints are x can vary from 0 to 8. So before we, we got to do c of 0, see what that is. And if you make x equal to 0, that means you're going straight to land and going all the, the, the way over. If you plug that into your function, what, what you get is uh, 5 plus uh, 4, that's 9 million right there, 9 million. Uh, the other extreme is 8, c of 8. That means when x is 8, this point is here, and that's all water. If you plug in 8, what you wind up getting is you'll get the square root of uh, 25 plus 64, that's 89, plus plus nothing, so that will be radical 89. Right off the bat, radical 89 is greater than 9 million, so this answer's out. This one is more expensive, so so far it, it, it's looking like land is uh, the best option. But maybe there's something in between. We've only evaluated the endpoints. We don't even know if there's another answer in here. All right? For all that we know, it could be an increasing function as x increases. We figured it out with critical numbers. Uh, the maximum, the minimum must occur at either endpoints or critical numbers, so we take the derivative of our function. C prime equals, uh, you'll get x, 25 plus x squared, that's correct, um, minus one half, minus one half, that's C prime. One critical numbers make it zero. And then you get to solve this, uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, if I bring this to the other side and then cross multiply, I'll have 2x equals the square root, 25 squared, square both sides, 4x squared equals 25 plus x squared. Uh, fun. And then you, if you take this over, you'll get 3x squared is 25. Bring over the 3, take the square root, and the answer that you get out of that is x equals uh, 5 over radical 3. 
Is 5 over a radical 3 inside our interval? Yes, it is. It's less than 8. <clears throat> so this is our critical number. We have to plug that into the um, cost function back in here and figure out what that is. You get a calculator. Uh, 5 over radical 3 is about, uh, about 2.88. And if you plug that into the function, the answer that you, you get, C of 2.88, happens to be approximately uh, 8.33 when you work it out. So what we found out was that if you make x equal to 2.88, it will yield the minimum cost of about uh, 8.33 million.